Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast, the bite-sized podcast filled with quick and easy actionable habits. Remember, great habits create that awesome life. I am Ashton Doctor, your Habit Coach, and today's fun fact of the day has to do with our brains. Did you know that 60% of our brains are made up of fat? And this makes our brains the fattiest organs in the body. So the next time someone calls you a fat head, remember to say thank you. You see, clinical studies have shown a direct link between the foods that we eat and our brain growth. The kinds of fats that we consume and the quality of our brains, especially amongst children. This is because most of the brain growth takes place up to the age of 5 and 6, but the brain continues to grow till the age of 25. and that is when it finally stops growing now this is why we did so many stupid things till that age of 25 for on a serious note even after the age of 25 the brain still continues to change and it is being repaired and it changes depending on the stimulus that we give it and the nutrients that we feed it the brain requires something called efas or essential fatty acids and these include things like omega 3 dha omega 6 and these are the building blocks of specific parts of the brain and our nervous system if we deprive our bodies of these essential fatty acids we will be hurting our brains now the problem is that most of us are exposed to a large number of omega 6 oils and this is because it is dominant in the kind of cooking oils that we have like canola safflower sunflower soya bean oils all of these are omega 6 oils now this is not a good thing because omega 6 needs to be in a balance with the omega 3 for our body to function properly and unfortunately most of us have an imbalance here we have way too much omega 6 compared to omega 3 however the really scary thing is as a dietary phenomenon that took place two generations ago the low fat diet craze During this time fat was made a villain and as a result all the fat was being removed from the food that we were eating either because we were misinformed about the link between fat and heart disease and fat and weight gain now people were now scared of fat and the word fat anything with the word fat on it was removed from the pantry fat was public enemy number 1 so these two generations grew up on a low fat food diet Can you imagine what happened to their brains? Children in their brain growing years were deprived of essential fatty acids needed for their brain growth. They were being fed cereals that contained no fat and a lot of sugar. As your habit coach, I want you to have a high functioning brain, a brain that has the ability to focus, to think with clarity, a brain with a sharp memory. Now, in order to do that, you have to add the good fats back to your food. and we have to add foods that are high in these omega 3 fatty acids dhas back into our meals so here is a list of foods that you can add to your meals things like flax seed now flax seeds are very very commonly used seeds in india it's actually called alsi and i did not know this during the lockdown i ordered these fancy flax seed boxes from amazon and i was at the farm at the time the local farmer looked at it and the next day got me a huge bag full of saying ye to hamare field mein grow hota hai i mean these grow in my field so you don't have to buy these fancy ones you get alsi you get flax seeds everywhere buy a packet of these because it is a excellent source of omega 3 unfortunately the oil is very delicate and it gets oxidized very quickly so if you buy flax seed oil remember to refrigerate it what i like to do is i like to buy ground flax seed powder or make it at home just spin it in your mixer but then immediately refrigerate so the oil remains fresh apart from flax chia seeds walnuts are also great the dha comes from sources like salmon and tuna using supplements is also a great way to get your essential fatty acids i personally take these daily and find opportunities to add flax seeds to my diet whenever i can so your super simple habit to improve your brain health starts by adding these omega 3 rich foods to your daily food habits It can be flaxseed powder which you mix into your chapatis or your bread or in the form of supplements that you take daily. Remember, it is never too late to start supplying your brain with the food it needs. Give it all the fat it needs and remember to become a certified fathead. Now if you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IVM network. You can listen to us on the IVM podcast app or ivmpodcast.com. You can also follow us on social media. We are at IVM Podcast on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to reach out to me, I am at Ashton Doc on Twitter and Instagram. We have a brand new habit coaching online course, quizzes, videos, and a lot more on the website awesome180.com. So check it out now.